In a previous video, back in February of 2021, I said this. I don't know. Have you noticed that there's a lot of this revival talk going on? I've noticed that this trend is still picking up steam, that there's going to be this great awakening that's going to happen in 2021. And all of these great things are getting ready. The, to re the revival that's going on that you see on YouTube that a lot of these people are talking about. This is what their revival is. A revival is not waiting for misfortune to fall upon some people so that you can have bragging rights. God is not part of that mess. See, that's what, if you notice this revival, they, it's revival talk, but then it's hoping that something falls upon people. Some type of doom, some type of punishment, some type of something to the evil people. And I got these same evangelicals with their spiteful, uh, hateful ways and misfortunes wanting to fall upon people they're the same type of christians that do not want you part of their church or their circle that the enemy is manipulating in this nation yesterday when god began to prophesy and you've heard me say it here recently because i heard the lord tell me he said i'm going to loose a death angel in the earth and this morning I was in prayer and I was reflecting on that because I realized it was a very strong word. I, I really, I, I'm not just slinging stuff out when I prophesy. I'm hearing what the Lord has to say and I understand the impact of it. The Lord spoke to me. He said, and it's the same angel that I loosed in Egypt. Man, I feel the sovereignty of the Lord. They ain't going to be voted out. They're going to be removed out. And as you can see, I was talking about revival and something fishy going on back then. But look what I've got. The notes. The notes are back. And I was just two, two times in a row because I had to jot it down this time, guys, because this video, I don't want it to be long, but I've got a lot to say here. So stay with me and get i'm going to try to get to the points hit them and and explain myself well stay with me don't attack me you quite yet because wait till you hear all what i've got to say because you know that the rap the ashbury revival is kind of i don't know where it's at at this phase but as the thumbnail as you see marcus rogers more so had a rebuke to biden more so because of all that was going on with agendas and things within America. And more so blaming, I guess, Democrats for the problems of America. But guess what? I'm going to rebuke him. And I'm going to rebuke anybody, any Christian nationalist and anybody else that thinks that it's just one group of people that has been the problem for America. Because guess what? There's enough blame to go all the way around for everybody. And I've got some of it right here on my notes. So let's get started. I was watching National Geographic over the weekend. I like to watch that sometimes. There's the one show where the, I don't know that lady's name, but she goes into like the cartels and parts of the world dangerous and doing, trying to find out what's going on and information. And she was in Nigeria and was showing all of the deep, dark oil, black market industry and all what was going on. And it just took me back. To 2017 to where when me and my daughter as i show you here we had the opportunity after we watched anthony bourdain we love I, we love anthony bourdain and he was talking there in cuba about them getting ready to open up and have relations with the united states again and and i booked my cruise that cruise immediately because i'm an avid cruiser and we decided that we were going to go and we went and out of all the cruises that we've been to, going to Cuba was the best. We we, we both love history. We I I I, I, I love antique cars, I, and, and it was just the people and the experience just to be there was so. It was wonderful. They were so happy to see us. They were so hopeful. All they kept saying was, "I hope that embargo. I hope that America please with the embargo that they would just you know." Free, free up things so we can have a relationship. 
And I said, you know, this, this is sad. It is horrible that we sat here all of these years to do that. What's the difference between China and Cuba? Which one is worse? Put it in the comments if you think. Now, they both have their things. But you know, here as Americans, we have relationships with places all around the world. And we know that things are not rosy with uh, China right now. But guess what? Flip your name tag over in your shirt. Look at all your products and all the in it. Half of the things we, more than half of things we have comes from China. Regardless if they like to do craziness of execute all of the stuff and child labor and all of the stuff that goes on there. We, they, they sit there and they, we still have a relationship with them. But for some reason, because of pride and, and, and when Fidel Castro was there towards that, it, not trying to make things a, a, a right in some kind of way, but we had an opportunity. I just wonder what it would be like if from 2017 to now, as, the, as we extended an olive branch to try to make peace and open the door to them, how things would be. Would it be better, slightly better? You know, the trust was broken. And this is the thing. You have Christians and all of these people that sit there and leave, want to mistreat people around the world. And I'm going to put this up here right here so you can watch this video for those of you interested. There's this, this channel here um, that he breaks down the history. It's an excellent video. So if you want to watch it, he breaks down the history of Cuba and shows that it started long before the missile, Cuban Missile Crisis. So you can take a look at that. So I had that on there just to let you know that for the nationalists that try to say America is this great Christian nation, we know all the sins and the blood that America has on its hands. So don't get it twisted trying to act like we are the savior of the world when we have went across the world and caused chaos and left places in chaos. And you call that Christ-like, God-like? And, and, and all of this stuff, and, and you think that some forms of revival and God is going to just rain down uh, 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 joyfulness and all of this great stuff to happen when the, within the church. So we can get to the church. We can get to the church because I have on here, let's just talk about, I can't go through all the social problems. We're going to just gonna couple, talk about a couple of the social problems. For example, healthcare. Here, healthcare here in a bit. People, I heard someone say, I don't know where I heard it though, but I've heard it before. And I and it's hap I'm it's happened to me, it happened to plenty of people I know. You can't pursue your certain dreams. Your maybe your American dream. Maybe you want to start a business. Maybe you want to do something, change and get out of that job that's mistreating you. But because of politics, because of people that are well off and don't care about you or me and all of that stuff, they don't care. You find yourself stuck there at a job because we have a broken healthcare system that they don't ever want to cover nothing. I'm a migraine sufferer, a, a, a severe migraine sufferer. It's gotten a little better as I've gotten older, but I'm on ration for tablets. I'm like, I had to look, I looked last night because I've had a bad week or two with migraines and I had to go look on my, my, uh, express script, uh, my, um, pharmacy thing to see when my prescription gets refilled and it's not till April. And I'm like, and I got to count my pills. And then you got to break pills in half and all of this stuff and ration your medicine. Some of you know what I'm talking about. And this is the country, the richest country in the, in the world. And, and, and here we are. It got people with no health care, people that go bankrupt with health care and all of this stuff. And we want to act like we are going to experience this great revival and that only the Democrat Party and Biden is part of the, that has caused these problems. These problems, man, go way beyond that. It's beyond, it is way beyond that. And I'm, and, and no one gets a pass on it. And then I have one here. Let's talk about human rights because we want to talk about here in America, human rights. For example, Cuba, they say, well, they lock up political protesters. They, they do it in China, too. And guess what? We still deal with them. They all, they, all of this stuff. But you know what? We got a human rights problem right here in America. I was just thinking, I saw something where a guy 
it happened. You've seen it all the time. Somebody's exonerated from DNA. They may have been locked up 20, 30, 40 years. Find out that they have been innocent. And, they, and then guess what? There's some states where they have laws on the books where that person gets nothing. Zero dollars. Zero. All they get, if they get it, is a, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. That is a dag. That makes me so angry. How can you do somebody like that? Take so someone, you done made the mistake somehow, and here you are, the richest country in the nation, in, in the world, and you can't pr do something for somebody? That should be a, f I mean, it's just, it, it, I just don't understand it. It's, it's just, uh, it's inexcusable. It's, it's, and this is the kind of stuff that goes on throughout this nation, on and on. There's rights issues of all types. We can go, and there's so many other more social problems. But let's get to the church. Let's get to the church because I, I always wrote a few things down. I can't write everything down within the church. The church has become Laodicea, as in Revelations, and worse, the church has. Here we are. Because the church is a new form now. We've got people that, that think they are the church. They didn't start it up YouTube channels and getting buildings and this and that, self-appointed pastors. It used to be a time when you had to be held accountable. Guess what? You can launch up, get your camera, launch your phone or whatever, and launch off a ministry with no accountability and nobody to answer to. And here we are. And you know what is the result? I have on here. Problems of the church, lazy pastors. This is why you got lazy pastors. They have allowed these lazy pastors that should have been teaching, should have been uh, 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 guiding their flock. It has caught up with them. And here we are. I said, these lazy pastors have allowed anyone to teach or, 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 or they refuse to teach. Because, you know, as a pastor, you have to be amped to teach. It tells you that the Bible tells us that they got to be able to teach as well. And, and and they haven't they passed the you know the ball on to that they just more so one of this sound good get up go travel some of them do whatever and they've left their flock which have allowed wolves to come in they haven't guarded their flock and this is the result this is the result you 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 got people my pastor if somebody that you just did not get to come in and say. I want to be a Sunday school teacher. I want to do this or that. And just all of a sudden, you just, the next week, you got to stand up there and get to teach people. Oh, no. You had to go through a period uh, of uh, more so grooming where they want to see your walk, see, see your evidence of the fruits of the Spirit, see where you are, let you learn and sit under a, a, a teacher and all of that before you get launched up there. But unfortunately, many lazy pastors have set back let any and everybody get up. All of this, this is why you got to watch some of this small group stuff that goes on in houses throughout the nation. Some of these churches, small groups where you got somebody, you might show up at a small group and you're a babe in Christ. And these people might be teaching something way off that don't even line up with what, what, what the, 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 the doctrine and, and, and the things that, are, that should be taught. How do you know? If the pastor ain't staying up on that, lazy pastors. And then I go over to the backside, lazy Christians. Lazy Christians have failed to study God's word for themselves. No prayer life with no spiritual growth. And you know what the result of that is? I have on here chaos in the church and in society. So why people like Marcus Rogers and others and nationalists and all of these other people, the doom and gloom folks and all of that, that are trying to push it only on Biden or certain Democrats or the whole party itself. Don't, and, and before you come at me and say, oh, you're just a liberal, this, that, and that, and that. This message, got, like I say, there's enough blame to go around for everybody. This goes for everybody. This is why you don't put no trust in man. That's the problem. Everybody puts trust in mankind. For a man, for a man to save you, or a man or woman, to, 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 for them to be your savior. That's why you trust the Lord. I'm not, like I always say, I don't worry about stuff like that. 
I don't, I'm not going to worry about, oh my gosh, because somebody got elected. It's all over now. I don't know what I'm going to do. It's about to be, oh gosh, and all of this and this. I'm just going to walk. I'm, you know what? The Lord takes care of me. That's who I walk with. I'm not walking with a politician hand in hand. That politician can't get me through my valleys. That politician can't get me through all types of trials and tribulations that go on in my life. That politician ain't got nothing to do with it. Only the Lord. Only by holding on and touching the hem of his gar uh, garment. Anytime, you know, your sickness or, or, or I, I need what he supply my needs, as he says. And he tells me that he, he will watch over me and, and, and protect me and, and, and my family and provide. That's who I rely on. I don't rely on a politician. And that's the problem. These people are so wrapped up thinking that a man can save them. Somebody can save them. And that's the problem. And I have on here, in conclusion, you know, everybody wants these revivals. Everyone wants all of these great, great things to go on and happen. And we all do. But we know we live in some this treacherous times right now. Treacherous times. And things are not going to get better. The church's heart is not right. People's hearts are not right. If you really get down to the nitty gritty. You know, we all got work to do. All of us. And God, you think God is pleased with his church right now? Do you really think that he's pleased? And, and, and that he will that he's satisfied with the work that the, his body of Christ, that, that what they've been doing. I, 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 I believe that he is grieved. I truly believe that he is grieved and he is just wondering what has happened. Where are those that's going to stand up and, and come against these people that are mistreating those that are less fortunate? Where are those that's going to stand up and speak out against those that are teaching false doctrine within my church and, and, and within society. Stand up against those that are masquerading like they love me and acting like they're part of, part of the kingdom and, and that they part, that they, that they, but in reality, they does nothing but a political pawn playing you and playing others so that they can get their own personal agenda. That's what God is looking for. He's looking for people to stand up and fight because the devil is fighting harder than ever. Right? And that's what we do in this channel. We talk about him and all the tactics that he come up with and, to, and to expose him and all of the trickery and all his nastiness. And what do we do? Punch him right in between his chops. My name is Maurice Braxton. Evangelism for God is the channel. If you're new, consider subscribing. Hit like, coming along for the journey. And we're going to continue to march him forward. And we got to continue. We got to pray. We got to pray for America and the world. That America and the Christians and these people, everyone, get their hearts right and repent and rebuke anybody that continues to try to place the blame elsewhere when they need to look within themselves. Until the next video, my friends, take care. God bless.